just the da 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 Just boom, boom, boom. Tweet, 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 tweet. Yeah. Like, huh? Boom, go. Yeah, on loop. Really terrified clap. Neutral F. Man, Snake's buttons are so good. I have to just, I feel like I have to remind people, including Snake mates, just how good their up close frame data is. Because you're always mentioning, like, oh man, Nikita is such a good edge guarding tool, grenades are frame one, like all this crazy shenanigans, like up smash is ridiculous. But Snake's F tilt is frame four and kills. Snake's up tilt is frame six and super kills. Like, that back air is basically Link Nair. Frame 7 and lasts for 20 frames. Like, this character can box up close. Against Sonic, that may not be the best tool, but it absolutely gives you plenty of room for punishes. Now, as we're seeing right now, though, a slight percentage lead for Sonic Fiend. Uh, might actually be pretty significant. Doesn't actually take the stock there. Wow, what a beautiful edge guard! knowing that once he had gone to the Cypher, he was pretty committed, just charges that homing attack, and in the end, takes a, uh, a very important stock, to say the least. For the most part, uh, barring one game we've seen so far, the player who takes the first stock against Sonic is the player who ultimately winds up on the victory screen. Yeah, just jab. Okay. Well, that didn't work. Oh, that did not work. <laughs> we'll, we'll get him next Aww. time, everybody. <laughs> A bunch of explosions. Good on Sonic Fiend for waiting it out. As I mean, we've been. You mentioned it first. We every time that Sonic Fiend gets his first, gets a stock first. He holds on to that lead better than anyone else in this bracket, except for maybe Louis Jesus. And. You know, we, we might see this, this another verse same as the first. That would have been sick though. <laughs> that would, can't <laughs> lie. Would have been clean. All right, quick public service announcement: the C4 is over uh, at the like by the left platform there. I just I always want to remind people of these things because otherwise we simply will forget over time. Did he place it? I lost. I no, okay. it is not on the field at the moment. Uh, public service announcement, it is in the middle of the Pokeball. Attention passengers, Snake C4 is currently on the middle of the stage. Please keep your hands and feet inside the vehicle. Oh, okay, so jab didn't work, but up tilt guy certainly does. What doesn't that move do? Uh, <laughs> no comment. <laughs> Uh -oh. At least 17 things. Whoa, whoa okay. All right, neat. So the back air, he looked to air dodge, but uh, Sonic's back air didn't quite hit Snake, but it did manage to clip that Cypher and destroy Snake's Cypher. Doesn't send him into tumble. All he can do after it's destroyed is air dodge. Right, right there. Oh, he air dodged the wrong way. Yeah. yeah. I, he was. He did prepare for it. Um, maybe he was just preparing for attack, though. He thought he would maybe get hit hard enough to be forced to attack. It's certainly plausible. Like, I mean, if Sonic is running off stage and running, preparing to hit me with a back air towards the stage, I'm preparing to tech because I'm assuming it's going to hit me. But just quick US trained hitting the Cypher instead of Snake puts him in a, basically an unrecoverable situation, which is why you usually see Snake's a abandoned the cypher early to air dodge up and into the ledge and sonic bean keeps his streak of first stock equals game alive he wants that rematch and just looking at bracket as uh, sonic bean has the chance to play against the the very same player that put him into losers in the first place He does still need to beat uh, Coltman two more times before he gets to that point, though. Oh, yes, and uh, you know, I, I will say one of the tr <laughs> the trend it's still in terms of um, Sonic getting the lead remains true. I don't think we've seen a game so far where Sonic Fiend has lost, uh, has won the first stock and then lost. 
it's hard to so, it's hard to come back. It's really hard. Yeah, no. One, like if you're Coltman, you you have to think about that. You have to keep in mind what the beginning, the very very first moments of game two are gonna look like. Because if you're not careful, if you trip up, it just I'm not gonna say the rest of the game would be a foregone conclusion, but it becomes so much, so much harder to play against a player like Sonic Fiend if you don't have, at the very least, even stock footing with him. But there is, I would like to say though, there is absolutely ways for Snake to do so. For starters, uh, the stage counter pick, make it, oh no. He's still, he's still fine. Baited. I mean, he's jumping everything. <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> But the stage counter pick is certainly a, uh, a good start. Yeah. Public service announcement: the C4 is on the right side of the Smashville platform. And a good spot for that as well. And as long as he keeps Sonic Fiend having to dash through the stage entirely, he, he'll encounter the right side of Smashville eventually. That. Uh, uh, All right. Both uh, these players forwarding with death a little bit at the start of this game too. <laughs> It's, it's the mind game. It's you give your opponent hope that they've just died, and then you dash those hopes by actually recovering. Bravo. You think you got him, but... Because think about, the, think about the, the devastation that that would cause him. If he sees, it's like, oh my god, Sonic's finally just dead. I didn't even have to try. And then he recovers, and that hope you had just shatters in your palms. Single like sand palm. through your fingers. Yeah. It's a legitimate strategy. I'll, I'll, oh, yeah. I'll, I'll say it. <laughs> Psycho Wolf, uh, or the Psycho Mantis Warfare coming out. <laughs> the, the added psychology. That's another one. Ooh, and, good dash attack out of shield. Yeah, I was, I was thinking about that as he primes up the spin dash punish. He knew he had plenty of time to get that kill, uh, and after it was all he needs. <laughs> Getting dash attack. Is, or Snake's dash attack is uh, amongst his grenades is so prime at making Sonic Fiend get off of his spot as he doesn't have to worry about cla or clanging with the spin dash at all he can just power right through it thanks to those invulnerable arms as, uh, all right Coltman has his he stuck a oh yeah that's I believe it's just a C4 on his body okay if he explodes the is this he probably still on him or something transfer? Or what? Huh? Oh, uh, me. Okay, it fell off. It <laughs> fell off. <laughs> but he exploded it just there, I guess. Yeah, I, I lost it in the in the kerfuffle, but I think he might have been did. stuck that entire time, and he was like just trying to find a point where like it would actually convert to a kill. But then when he died, he's like, yeah, whatever. I'll just get the damage. 155. This is soon to, I believe, with proper pummeling, this is death percent if you're Sonic to any grab. Oh, or or any just that frame 4 F tilt. Frame 4, everybody. Snake maids are liars. This character's broken. <laughs> no, he's he's very good, but he's not, he's not like busted, busted. I don't know if there's anyone in this game who really is busted, busted, so I would say he comparatively is busted. Perhaps, perhaps. In, when in when no one's busted, everyone will be. Uh, so Snake's just a little bit more busted than than than, uh, than an average. Therefore, he is very busted. The syndrome logic comes back for us once more. Oh, that rising down air was actually super clutch. Like, it, not only avoiding the ledge situation all entirely, but even covering himself while he did so. Not proper coverage there, though. And Sonic Bean has a chance. 55 is not, it's not nothing, but it's not unrecoverable either. Oh, that, that could have been clutch. I don't believe he had, okay. He has used his jump officially in the homing attack in Nikita. Oh, great timing, specifically waiting on that grab so that he would get the invincibility from it to avoid that, uh, the, the up smash. And now, all of a sudden, 65% on uh, on Snake. That's not an insignificant amount, especially because it's getting to the point where, you know, those hits will probably put Snake off stage. Might mean that uh, a little bit more damage he recovers there and manages to counterattack on the recovery. All of a sudden, this is uh, almost an even game. 
Yes, I'm actually just throwing out these attacks and knowing that he's rather safe on parry with a lot of these moves. So many multi hits that come out from Sonic. Frame four too fast. And there it is. Yeah, that Nikita is just, it's so hard to avoid it every single time. And in that situation, the higher Nikita counters that higher recovery. And that's going to be game two going to Coltman, leaving things at a 1 1 game count. And he did his best to work around Nikita, hitting it with homing attack, getting the proper tech, like planning his recovery so like thoroughly, using air dodge, like all of it came together, but avoid the inevitable so long. Yeah, I will say that. So in that game, uh, Coltman took the first stock and it ended up being pretty close. Uh, if I remember correctly, game one, uh, Sonic Fiend took the first stock and it was not very close. <laughs> Right? Right. So it's, it, it's, what's the, I'm trying to think it's the right way to describe it. It's, it's unequal. Even, because when Sonic has the lead, it's almost guaranteed he wins. When the other player has the lead, it's maybe, he's chance better, chance, you know, more often than not, they'll be able to, you know, hold down the fort and manage to eke out a win. But it ends up being pretty close regardless. He's looking for I, the I heart. Apologize. My my inner operetta came out for that for that forward smash. Hey, I appreciate the the note you hit though. That was pretty great. Thank you. I've been uh, I've been practicing. And we're all glad for it. Thank you. Uh, I'm certain Sonic Fiend is glad for this percent differential, and he's been using some of these spring tricks up plenty throughout this game. As a you know, C4 is stuck in the very middle of the stage, it doesn't detonate. Oh, it detonated by itself. Ooh, that was the coverage on the up smash, and once again, really smart using the back throws, long animation to avoid the uh, the damage on that up the the up smash falling back down. Sonic Fiend still relatively in control just by having a slight percentage lead, but keep in mind that Snake's overall kill options are just much, much faster than Sonic's. He's probably going to have to find a back air or a forward smash uh, or some offstage play to take this stock, whereas Snake, well, right as I say that, he does find the forward smash at the ledge and can, now, now it's, it's all on Coltman. We've, we have yet to see a single player manage to win a game which they uh, did not take the first stock against Sonic Beam. So, can he be the first one to maybe turn around? Very possibly. Only taken 14% here. Yeah, there's a first time for any... There's a first time for everything. <laughs> These options are so incredibly risky, but when they pay off, they pay off. It's, I would consider something like that a forced SD because he went deep and he made Sonic Fiend like just, he made him sweat just that little bit. Yeah. The, the, uh, the, the term that I like, I think comes from tennis is forced error as opposed to an unforced error. Yeah, that's, that's appropriate. Yeah, yeah. So great, like just by making riskier plays, just put him into those just forced situations, period. And now... Yeah, Coltman able to play much so... Okay, all right. Yeah, that time the spot dodge spam works out to uh, avoid getting hit by that homing attack. Just and about, no, he more goes damage is good. More damage is indeed good. As Coltman is pretty content to keep going to ledge and priming these grenades. As long as, Col as, long as Sonic Fiend is taking damage, this final stock situation, it's going to be so perfect for Coltman. All right, 115 to zero. Can Sonic Fiend, with all of Sonic's uh, proper conversions, especially at low percent, can he find the momentum to bring this game back to even? Yeah. You have to think about, you know, if you're Sonic Fiend playing against him right here, you have to think about the kill options that he has available, and one of those kill options, so reliable, and you've seen it countless, countless times, that snake, as we said before, frame six up tilt. It's just so powerful, so strong, such good range. And especially when you're hanging around at these like, oh, you know, a little bit past a hundred percent. That's what he's going to be looking for, and just goes for that homing attack. And normally people are hesitant to challenge it, but 
Uh, that time Coltman saw the homing attack early, reacted and intercepted with the up tilt before he could even rise far on, far up enough. And it's things like that that can really make Snake feel like he dominates this matchup, because arguably this is Sonic's best stage. Yet with proper stage control, good positioning, and a absolute defiant amount, a, a plentiful amount of traits with a little bit of extra sauce. Yeah, it's, it's also worth remembering um, uh, that that did happen. There was a very, very low percent stock loss that happened to Sonic Fiend. Um, granted, I think that it don't it didn't matter too much in the end. The the, the difference basically maintained consistent uh, after that. But we're moving into uh, game th uh, game four now between these two. I don't think we've seen a game five yet on stream, but, you know, last game we actually saw uh, Coltman win after losing the first stock. So maybe the, uh, the curses, the trends have started to dissipate. Not getting the final hit of down air. That could have been a whole lot of... A whole lot of good, but multi hits, multi hits can can be a struggle sometimes. Was that, was that the transitive property? Damage equals good, therefore good equals damage. It everything just like that would have been a whole lot of good. It would have been a whole lot of good, and damage is a whole good. lot of good. From now on, all damage is replaced by good. Sna Snake is such a good <laughs> character. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Snake, that's a good if I've ever seen one. <laughs> he just deals out so much good. Why does Down Air so good? I think we good at hey, I can't use good anymore, because that was a, that was just a very epic tech. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. This is also this is also thesaurus training. Now that we've taken good out of our vocabulary, we have to start coming up with uh more creative synonyms. Cre creativity starts in the mind. And, you know, I guess sometimes so playing is the mother snake. of creativity. <laughs> yeah, All right. True. Oh. What a magnanimous back end. <laughs> oh, <don't rather. laughs> uh, so sublime is his play style currently. Uh, Sonic Fiend making every use of these spin dashes. And every use of his counter pick, while the SD, the forced error on uh, in game two or game three, excuse me, uh, made the most uh, made that game three start to swim out of Sonic Queen's advance, out of Sonic Queen's grasp. Uh, he's taking this game a whole lot more in control, not trying to do too much, trying to go for these edge guards. Instead, looking for these prime two frames instead. Yeah, it's right there, the dash attack from uh, from Coltman. Definitely, uh, Song Fiend wasn't expecting it. He's starting to go for those more, just like quick burst options. Maybe that's, you know, it has to do with conditioning, where he's used to Snake kind of hanging back, throwing projectiles, setting up grenades, and all of a sudden now he's bursting into his face. And somehow he is still not dying. And he gets the kill himself! That up tilt managing to sneak in there, and I don't not sure exactly what happened, but somebody died. It's absolutely a stage bike from what it could have been many moves, Snake being at 160 and all that. But this is a this is absolutely an even game and a stop uh, yeah set point for Coltman if he can find a way to get back on stage. Oh, he manages to avoid both of those forward smashes and gets away from that scary tech chase situation, but he's still taking about 62%. Being down means he is technically forced to approach. Doesn't seem to be phasing him too much. He's, you know, still going for his grenade game plan, but it seems like Sonic Fiend is becoming more and more comfortable right as I say that. Finally, he gets put off stage and he catches landings. Things are now starting to look like you know, Sonic being the way he wants them to go, it's... Things are clicking into place with every hit that he lands. And the backer fights right through, but still is active enough to clip Snake in the meantime. See, oh, he gets a fistful of grenade, and suddenly Sonic Fiend has to find his way back on stage. And he does so with the ease, with the greatest of ease. Oh, that was so slick! 
And the up tilt, is that enough? What a fantastic finish. Coltman staying alive throughout all of it. And at the very end there, just that was the sort of thing where he was studying and conditioning throughout the game. And those brilliant call outs he had from the empty landing F tilt, just like jump, land with the F tilt and then run up there, just react and get that up tilt. That's, that's it, that's the total package. Right now, Coltman managing to stay alive going all the way to uh, to Loser's Finals, where now he has to face off against X, who I don't think he has actually played yet in bracket. So that's gonna be a fresh new match. Not that I've seen, I just, I know I've been mentioning a lot of these, uh, a lot of these numbers, a lot of the, the crunchy details that don't mean everything in a match like this. A lot of the times conditioning and planning and, and like setups make a lot more. But when you consider one of Sonic's fastest grounded options is that frame six F tilt. And Snake can always out prior or beat that out, whether it be with grenade or F tilt or even up tilt right there. All of those are frame six or faster. Faster than Snake's standing grab even, which is frame eight. So all of those tools can really just overwhelm Sonic who while a mid while Sonic is midway. He's not living that long against Snake. He's constantly pushing the barrier on damage output. I mean, we've seen, we've seen the Twitter comments. The character that... does live long against Snake. 